A visual statement tonight in front of the governor's mansion as people continue to protest a new state law. Good evening, I'm Maggie Newland, in for Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney, thanks for joining us. Critics around the country are blasting the new laws against the LGBT community. CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland is there, and Michael, they think the law stinks and they have a unique way of showing it, don't they? Absolutely. State legislators were trying to block an ordinance in Charlotte that let people use a restroom based on their gender identity, cited safety concerns, and said the city overreached. But in response to that, the protesters behind me have brought this here. They brought this porta potty just about half an hour ago. As you can see, clearly it is for both men and women, and they are trying to make a point here by setting it up just outside the Capitol building. But soon after this started, Capitol Police came by here actually asking them to leave. The woman who organized this is Stephanie Bowman. She came here from Asheville today with a couple friends. It's all started with a joke on social media, but then she quickly organized this demonstration. She's concerned about the effects House Bill 2, which Governor Pat McCrory signed Wednesday, could have on the state. Yeah, it's definitely tongue-in-cheek, and I definitely think that humor and irreverence are very healthy outlets for frustration. Sure. So the basic message is that I don't appreciate Pat McCrory speaking for me as a female. Capitol Police came by telling Stephanie because she doesn't have a permit that her group needs to leave, but she argues because House Bill 2 passed so recently, there wasn't any time to get a permit. She says her attorney told her that means she and the rest of the group do have the right to demonstrate. So what they're doing is they've essentially compromised and they are setting up right along the sidewalk here. There are some police officers here keeping an eye on everything as well. And so we're going to be out here as well throughout the evening and keep you updated on what ends up happening here tonight. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.